Right, we've got a real treat for you today. Crispy chicken wings. Who doesn't like crispy chicken wings? I love crispy chicken wings. You brought the goods again. What's in it? And Right, so we've got beautiful uh, wings here. I'm going to show you how to prepare them. We're going to uh, marinate them. We're going to do dust them with a potato starch to get them nice and crispy. And then we're going to make a super spicy, tasty sauce with cullies and these beautiful sauces here. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this all comes together later in the show. And we're joined by Chris from Cully's in the Beko Kitchen. G'day, Chris, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, we're going to get some uh, spicy chicken wings underway. Mark's going to do that, and we might have a bit of a yak about this pretty cool project that you've got Absolutely, going on. Absolutely, yeah. Mark, first of all, what are we doing here? Right, so we've got crispy chicken wings. So I've got these beautiful chicken wings. I'm going to break them down into uh, sections. So I'm just going to go through the bone. So you've got a nice little nugget there. Uh, and then you've got the top part of the wing there. A nugget. A nugget. A nugget. <laughs> not, well, it's got a bone in, so it's not real chicken nugget. Well, it is a real chicken nugget. So you can leave the uh, the little tips on the wings if you want. It's always nice because you can hold it. It gets nice and crispy, or you can take them off. If you want to take them off, you just go through there, and then you're just left with a nice piece of chicken. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop it into a bowl, and then I'm going to marinate it. Awesome. Um, and then you guys can have a chat. Now, you love a bit of chili. Absolutely, and, I do. Uh, I've, I've, we were just talking about this earlier. People say, oh, I don't like hot food. But you've come up with the art of flavour, not fire. And that's kind of what it's about, eh? With this very cool project. That's right. So we've got um, a crowdfunding Kickstarter cookbook, um, The Art of Flavour, Not Fire. So it's a, a book all about um, chili recipes. They go from mild to wild. Um, everything in between. Yeah. A lot of family recipes as well. So, you know, not too spicy for the children. I love that when you can turn to a cookbook and you kind of go, there's something that I can do quickly, there's something I can do to impress, there's something yeah. you know, that I can do for me alone, all of that sort of stuff. Why have you gone with that kind of crowdfunding philosophy? Well, good question actually. So um, what we wanted to do is get the, uh, you know, the, the, the audience and the fans of Cully's to really get behind and support the book. Uh, so what we've done with uh, kickstarter.com is a crowdfunding movement, so what we really need is people to get behind the book, support the book. Mm. Um, we've got a pretty um, meaty stretch target to hit, so it's um, a, a, a target of $120,000. Um, once we hit that, the book goes live, and then we go into production. Mark is uh, contributing as well. He's written a couple of recipes. Actually, just on that, how are we going, Mark? What are we up to? Uh, really good. So we're just uh, marinating the chicken. So I've got some buttermilk in there, and that's going to help tenderise it and get it nice and there, creamy. A little bit of soy sauce in there and some rice wine. So a little bit of a sort of a fusion um, idea for this recipe. Nice. Sort of the classic American uh, chicken wings uh, with a little bit of the sort of uh, Asian or Korean chicken wings as well. We love that. Is this in the book? This will be in the book. Yep. Fantastic. So how long have we got to, to get on board with this? Uh, we've got two weeks to go. So um, yeah, so we've got to hit the target for the book to go live. So we're not producing the book until we hit that sort of target. Yep. Um, and we've got a delivery sort of January, February next year. So perfect for a Valentine's gift uh, yep. for the for anyone's loved one. Uh, here there might be a wee bit of a gathering for those that get on That's board. Right. Yeah, so Friday um, at our chili warehouse in St John's in Auckland. Um, yeah, we're having a bit of a... A bit of a pizza party. We'll let do some uh, chili sauce tastings. Hello. Yep. You've got a chili warehouse. All I'm imagining is great big <laughs> mounds of chilies. It's <laughs> pretty, it must be chili mecca. Pretty much. It's pretty cool. Now, we know that you, we love your products, obviously, and, and we know that Mark's a big fan. He won't stop talking about them, but I'll tell you what, we get to taste them, so we love it. You have a massive range, don't you? Like, just talk us through some of the things that you've got. Uh, so we've got uh, a range of hot sauces, which is really where the company started from at Clevedon Farmer's Market about seven years ago. Um, over the years, we've developed a range of gluten-free corn chips. Um, we've got barbecue sauce range, some marinades. Um, oh, yeah, 45. The product. list goes on. The list goes on. Uh, it's called The Art of Flavour, Not Fire. There are some incredible recipes in there. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark is just one of the people involved in this book. But, of course, who else is involved? So we've got Stretch um, out of the United States. We've got Ed Curry from Puckabutt. He owns the patent for the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest chili. Yeah. Uh, I think Lorraine. that's Mike's favourite. That one. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? You might have stitched <laughs> yeah. them up. <laughs> yeah, I did stitch them well. up. Um, yeah, um, obviously Mark as well. We've yeah. got Lorraine Jacobs and Sean Connolly from from uh, Australia, but he's also known at Gusto and the Grill in Auckland restaurants. Just a few, just a few little names yeah. in there. Now, what are we up to, Mark? We're right, so, we, so we've got the chicken um, wings marinating. So ideally, give that sort of, you know, an hour or so just to get that maximum flavour in there. And then I've got some um, salt and pepper, some potato starch, a little bit of baking powder, and then pop them in a bowl, put a lid on or wrap it in cling film and then shake it. And this is what you're left with. Ooh. Shake off the excess and then 
into a hot wok with some oil or into a deep fryer and just cook them for about 10 12 minutes until they're nice and crispy. Love that. All right, what are we up to at the moment? Right, so we're just uh, we're cooking the chicken. So do it in a couple of batches because you don't want to uh, let that oil cool down. It wants to be nice and hot so it gets crispy. You can see the first batch has come out nice and golden, it's nice and crispy. Drain it off on some paper and then pop it onto uh, a wire rack just so it's not sitting on itself and it doesn't sweat. So that and that will keep it crispy. Keeps it crispy. Now, so, of course, um, with the Kickstarter project, yes. you've got uh, the art of flavour not fire. You guys at Cully's know a thing or two about that. Try to, who yeah. really is a chilli cookbook for? Who are, you, who are you thinking about here? Well, it's anyone that likes um, the heat from mild to wild. We've got recipes for everything in between. Um, uh, we've got, yeah, Mark's helped out with this chicken, um, crispy chicken wing recipe. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, anyone really that likes a little bit of heat right up to the, the super triple eats hot. And I think that's the thing, you know, it's, it's, as soon as you say chilli, if, if you're not into spicy food, you just switch off. Yeah. But I think that, you know, the best thing about the book is, is there's going to be different recipes and it's about flavour. It's about flavour of the chilli. It's not necessarily about, you know, having that numbing, uh, no flavour taste. And I guess you know? that's where the, the title comes in, the art of flavour, not fire. Exactly. And you must encounter those people that... Uh, you, well, you've got both ends of the spectrum. People who are so obsessed with the, well, like you, uh, and people who are maybe not so much, and we won't name them because they're absolute philistines. <laughs> um, now we've got to get on Kickstarter to, to, to get this going. There's That's two right. weeks to go. Just tell me one more that time though about this little party that we've got for for chili lovers. Yeah, so the um, chili factory, well, Cully's Chili Factory in St John's in Auckland, uh, this Friday from 4:30 till about. Half past six, we've got uh, pizzas, uh, some chicken wings, hot sauce tastings, everything in between. All the crew will be there, so yeah. We're doing chicken wings today, but give us a wee tempting taste of what might be in the book. Well, we've got um, everything from entrees, mains, desserts. We've got a, a condiments uh, section. We've even got a drink section. So, um, What's Sean doing? Oh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Can't and tell you. you mentioned desserts, though, because I go chili in a dessert. Hello, tell me more. So we've got one of our sauces is the uh, kiwi hot sauce, and on like French vanilla or apple um, spiced apple pie. You actually put that on at the end. It's delicious. So it's sort of a little bit of heat, a um, uh, little bit of heat, a little bit of sweetness, flavour. It's beautiful. And that age-old chili and chocolate too. I'm, I'm chili, hoping chili that makes it yeah. somewhere in there. Something chili chocolate mousse. Right. What's going on here? Looks like we've got a bit of a sauce going right, on, so Mark. So we've got the sauce. So this is all last minute. So you can do this last minute as your uh, chicken's going to come out. What we've got in there, we just sweated off a couple of cloves of garlic, so just lightly to bring out all that flavour. I've got some ketchup in there to bind the sauce. Uh, there's a little bit of vinegar as well, which helps bring out the uh, chilli flavour. A bit of Dijon mustard as well. And then oh. now we're going to put our chilies in there. So I've got sriracha sauce. We're in heaven. Absolutely. So we're going to do more sriracha sauce. This is a little bit spicier, so this is where we're going to get our kick. And then for a nice sweetness and flavour of the chilli, a oh, little bit oh. of habanero. <laughs> It's always a good idea to measure it on the spoon and put it in. <laughs> Whoa, and if you love chilli as much as Mark clearly does, you can support Chris and the team by pre-ordering the book The Art of Flavour Not Fire. Just go to kickstarter.com. We've got Mark and Chris here with these spicy, crispy chicken wings. Of course, remember, if you want to help Chris make the chilli cookbook The Art of Flavour Not Fire, head to kickstarter.com. This looks delicious, Mark, but what are we doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow on the menu, we've got prawn dumplings.